Hello guys, remember me? I'm Orbeta, your Welsh engineer, and welcome back to Kerbal Quest Part 15. Burning ring stations and taco resupplies. What does it mean? What does it mean? We shall find out in this episode. Anyway, first off, let's land this rover. If you remember in the last episode, or anyone who watched it, I don't know who watches all of them, I reverted this flight because I wasn't happy. I uh, flipped the rover again and broke the drill bit. And this is the second rover I landed here. So yeah, I decided to do it again. This time, let's use automatic landing. And there's no Kerbal Award because we've already got a Kerbal. The one who flipped her over last time. Uh, was it Matt, Matt May? I can't remember now. Anyway, we have our resupply rover now. With the drill, we can start mining and do an oral ore mining so we can turn it into fuel, get it ferried up to the space station for any craft that require it. Because that was the idea. We'd have a mining base on each of the moons trying to mine some ore and whatever else to make fuel. Simples. And I forgot the name of the Kerbal here. We'll get the name now once the head comes up. Anyway, let's get into questions. Oh, yeah. Jacob May. He flipped the rover last time. So he's going to do some mining. Anyway, from Alien Boy, me. First comment, also, hi. Hi, back to you. He goes on to say, by the way, thanks for adding. I assume he means adding me to Kerbals to your video. To your video. <laughs> no problem. Anyway, this one thing I've got to mention with this rover mining rig, I forgot to add, uh, what do you call it, radiators, because as you know, as any unrespectable Kerbal knows, the heat rises as soon as you mine. See, it's almost got to 500k. Does that mean the drill bit breaks or something? Uh, anyway, I think that requires a resupply mission, but first off, let's launch this. This is a craft that was given to be my court baker. And this is a Duna lander craft with a, a, a little rover on top of it. We'll see that when we get to it. On this one, the highlight of the episode. This was given to me by Christian Wigo Ashtignik. Sorry if I put your name. <laughs> and this is called the Ring Thing. And I've also added your Kerbal onto that, which is named Heavy Metal. So, hey, yeah, you're on your own craft there. Well, I hope you survive it. And also... This is the resupply mission. E, the first launch goes awry, yes, destroying the engines. Always make sure your decouplings do not hit the rocket on the way up. Uh, we'll have to relaunch that now. Anyway, let's get into comments as we go to relaunch that. From Luna Coop. First comment, I suppose. No, actually, you are a third, and I have this in timeline operation, so yeah. So, first comment, no, you're third. <laughs> By the way, awesome video. Thank you very much. Oh, and what I'm doing by here, I'm decided to refuel this. I originally decided this ring station that was given to you by uh, Christian, or Wiggo as he's normally called on Kerbal X, if you want to search him out. It didn't have enough fuel to go to Jewel. It is quite large, and it is quite. It even brings the My Beast of a PC down by, uh, what is it? It was down at one point to six frames per second, <laughs> yeah. And someone suggested that I add a mod which would fuse all parts together, make things run quicker. That's only a pickle by making parts and then fitting all them together. I suppose I could do it, but it'll take a lot of time to do it, actually. But other craft don't run so bad, so I'm not too, I'm not gonna install that mod just yet, because it's a lot of work. Anyway, let's skip off to Duna because we have to land this Duna thing. And I decided, oh yeah, this planet is bright. It's orange. Ah, I couldn't help doing that. <laughs> anyway, yes, this is bright. I had to reload the game at some point, which will be about here on your video. And the planet, it, it's, it's graphical. It's the environmental handsome mod, which mucks things up. Anyway, let's get to comments as we're coming down with this. From Sayed Razim. Can you add me as a Kerbal? My name is Razim. You can send me anywhere. Thank you in advance. No problem. From Christian Wigostignig. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help doing that. Anyway, another cool video. I like the explosive decoupling. Oh, you love what happens to your space station then. By the way, I think the new environment looks good. Carry on, conquer the Kerbal Galaxy. And yes, we tried to jet the heat shield here and we lost the land legs. No! 
Who have we got? Mark, what need we here? Oh dear! If anyone can survive, he can. As long as he's got some potatoes. <laughs> he must be Irish. <laughs> and that's not an Irish accent, I don't know what that was. Anyway, from Kayo Gazer. Orbiter, say, oh yeah. I have to say this now. <laughs> Look at that destruction. Anyway, uh, he says to say, Odrich, Odrichan Dalaria. Odrichan Dalaria. I hope I said that right. I have no idea what that says. That could be a swear word or whatnot. I have no idea. I could be banned from YouTube. <laughs> but never mind, yes. So there you go, I've said it. From Dr. Bones Gaming. Nice video. Can you use a Eve base? Can you rescue me from the sun? I could do. I assume you want to go to that Eve base. Uh, it'll take a bit of work, but yeah, it could do. First off, though, we're going to concentrate on a few missions. This is the anomaly that I was planning to go to. There was an anomaly on the north and an anomaly on the south. And this is the anomaly on the south of that um, big canyon thingy, Majiggy, that's on Duna. Oh, and this is cool, it's, yeah, you can see where it is, the Curiosity Rover, and it's buried, it must have been here for years on end. So that's what happened. Kerbin isn't a new planet, it's actually Earth in the future. So, you know, we're going to die out and Kerbin's going to take over. Plants will evolve, and that's the story of our universe. <laughs> So yeah, on Dr. Bones Gaming, you should try the welding mod, yeah, to increase FPS. And I wish I had it for this craft, perhaps I should have done it. However, you would see things become one part then, which makes things difficult in the game. And, uh, yeah, this is what goes wrong, Mr. Heavy Metal, or we go as you call it yourself, on Kerbal X. So I decided at this point, we're going to have to deorbit this, I can use the lander, land you safely at the Kerbin Space Program, and we're launching up an, another ring station. Since we've got unlimited funds, and here we go, full blast! Uh, I found a design flaw right here. You see your engines by there? They're the wrong way round, see the nozzles are pointing inwards. <laughs> Oops! You would say this spacecraft has been engineered by a Kerbal. So what I decided by here, I'm going to deorbit it. Oh yeah, this is going to be spectacular. Anyway, let's go to another comment from Tam5005. Did you already pick up a friend for Tam for the Juna plane mission? Yes, I have. Also, can you plan? Can the plane have passenger space so it can be an airliner? Smiley face. Yes, actually, two Kerbals are on their way to go and cap. To rescue Aquian, which is a Kerbal which is stranded on Duner. So yes, don't worry Tam, you're going to be rescuing a Kerbal. You have someone else that will go here with you. So I think you even found the comment and you replied to that comment. So yeah, you know who it is. I'll let that to you guys in the future to find out in a, in a later episode. Anyway, from Joseph M. How about you put a scepter on the roof for Rover Lander, then land it right upright and have the land it turn on the Sceptron to make it tilt in the right direction. Haven't tried it but it makes sense. Yes, I've tried that actually. I tested this sort of thing with three bases modules on Kirby and it worked perfectly. You know, the base modules flipped over right side up. But when I tried it on Val, because the Val gravity is so low, they flipped right out down a 360 and then landed upside down, which was not good. And look at these explosions. Oh, this is awesome. I'm going to use one of these pictures of the thumbnail. So if you see it in the video, thumbnail, yeah, look at that station in the background. I wanted to switch to it to watch the entire burning, but I wanted to make sure that Mr. Heavy Metal here, it will survive. Yeah, because if you try, I think it's after. Not sure. If you're not in loading distance, then the Kerbal or craft will disappear. And the 25 kilometers, I think. Oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, all the destruction. Anyway, let's get to some comments as we try to find the spacecraft so we can save heavy metal. From a Soyuz game, hey man, can I add you on Steam? I pre-ordered No Man's Sky as well. No Man's Sky as well. 
no problem. Just Salt Lake Perry invite or something. Uh, just let me know who's going to add me before I add you because and don't be a dick especially on Steam because that will get you banned and everything so yeah yeah no problem you know as long as you're all good with it anyone else can do it if they want but just be good about it just be the Kerbal about it I think <laughs> whatever that means from Crytek the Great hey man been watching for a while huge fan could you could I be a Kerbal on a mission and roll just call me Cryotech the Great. No problem. Another Kerbal for a mission of mur of murdering Kerbals. <laughs> or something like that. I dunno. You'll see Kerbals die left, right, and center. <laughs> well not actually. <laughs> it's only a few Kerbals have died so far. Tam is gonna be re animated. Who else died? Oh it's Jebediah doing the Sun Space Station, wasn't it? Did someone else die? I'm sure someone else died. I'm not, I can't remember. Anyway, from Michael, Michael Tarantolo. KSB should have another version where it's full-scale version of Solar System. You can get a mod for that, by the way. And you can only use parts that NASA, ESA, Russia, China, and SpaceX used. That would be cool, and be a good red year for aerospace jobs in the future. Actually, it's quite a good idea. I'm not sure how realistic the KSP parts are. There is some things with the physics which can't rethink real life, so, yeah. It, but, by the way, the orbits and everything work exactly the same in this game, so even in the normal KSP, things like that, it'll be a good head start for being an aerospace uh, engineer or aerospace engineer like me <laughs> but yeah I think you know this game itself is teaching a lot of people new things even me I learned a lot from this anyway from neutral predator sing about Kerbals please and send a Kerbal name to Billy out to the universe I shall not sing about Kerbals they shall be saved or something else I have no idea what tune I'm using, which is probably not proper tune or something. I am terrible at singing. I even thought, I sing in the car, and that's it. As long as nobody's around, I sing in the car. I'm terrible at singing, so don't ask me to sing him, please, please. Anyway, from NSEP of Doggerland. Hello, I'm Tardy Great Gaming, but I have Caspi related channel now. Just say, keep up the good work. And no problem, I'll check it out. I give no promises on what thing. I haven't actually looked at it. I said I was going to look at it before I recorded this, but I'm a bit late doing the commentary on this. So I'll check it out. Don't worry about it. From Zeus Beer, install Real Plume, Planet Shine, and make the game look 500 times more awesome. Without any performance loss. By the way, I'm upgrading my graphics card to a R7 360 soon. Ooh, let me know how that goes. Because I got the 980 Ti. Yes, Ti. Hoo -hoo. Awesome stuff. It's In other games, it's awesome. But the physics of uh, Kerbal Space Rome is the thing that slows this game down. So you need a beast of a machine. Not the graphics card. Graphics in this is quite simple, actually. Compared to other uh, big uh, X games. So, yeah. Anyway, going to more comments. From Fatal Errors. It is only me who loves this guy voice. Is it only me or is it only me who loves this guy's voice? <laughs> Lol. Oh my god. Who loves my voice? <laughs> and by the way, what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to get enough forward momentum here so that we can slow it down. And if we have to, we'll like EVA heavy metal at the last moment. And he'll hopefully bounce on the top of his head. Yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> Let's hope it works out. Ever from Spellmaster45. Uh, hey, could you possibly move me to Val Station? It's not, if it's not too short. Thanks for mentioning me again. No problem. I'll uh, you know, I'll see what I can do. No promises because it's the good EVA. Uh, oh, balls. We lost him. No. We lost heavy metal. 
from no one here watching this video was I noticed that you were driving the rover at max speed of 28 you flipped your rover at traveling at 24 meters per second if you want to stop flipping by turn try try lower speed yeah I did realize that but also it was worse when I went to time accelerate because the wheels a bit buggy yeah so here we are anyway doing our tea taco tea taco this is our taco resupply mission we're gonna land this on Val resupply the tacos also we've got some radiators on there for the for the mining rig <laughs> so we can mine the ore and get fuel onto the stations well let's get through some more comments from orbit no that's that's what he says not from orbit <laughs> i'm going to my own video from rebel commando or 616 orbiter could you add me as a kerbal naming bruce wayne Ooh. Also, I really love your videos, and I am also really, really excited for No Man's Sky as well. I ah, so my two weeks, two weeks, I think, from now. Or a little less than that. Come in, come in. Keep sending Kerbals into space. I shall, don't worry. Exploration and engineering is my thing. Oh, along with Court Barker, so I'm going to read this as we go to Val as we pass leave first to get the orbit insertion correctly finally i come back from a short one week holiday or camp whatever it's good to see that a new it's good to see a new video also you do not need rcs to dock it helps though you just need a reaction wheel that works well you just hold the prograde marker on the docking port easy it's pretty cool that you have a new pc but i do not like computers Although I use them, they well, although I use them, they're always messy and hard to work with because they are damned hard to open. Yeah, don't worry, I upgraded my PC. I had a bit of struggle. Took me, you know, I think it was 10 o'clock. I finished building the machine, I finished fitting the stuff. New case as well, by the way. And ooh, yes, I didn't have a chance to reinstall. No, I didn't reinstall it. Didn't have a chance to install drivers and everything. That took a while. So, can I add you on Steam? My name is LOL. I'm Batman. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I was lazy with my name, that name. Don't worry. I was lazy with my first name, actually. My first name was Mark Paul Pabble. So, yeah. I, you know, wasn't original. That was Steam name. So, yeah. Okay, no problem. I'm Orbiter on Steam. I've got KSP in a couple of games. I don't use Steam that much, though. So, yeah, oh, by the way, I'm manually landing this because the automatic landing was messing up. Was time accelerating, stopping, time accelerating, stopping. I don't know if it's a mech check bug or what. It doesn't happen all all craft. Uh, last two comments from David Mason. I think if you get some publicity, this channel would grow quickly because your style of videos are perfect. You give the watcher content in a quick, snappy fashion, but also fill 20 minutes of my bored day. <laughs> also love the connection between you and the viewers by replying in the comments. Not many YouTubers do that. I, know, I think for most YouTubers it's hard. They look at TV or something and they think, right, this is what we need to do. This is what I need to engage the content, the people with, and what they'll be interested in. They don't actually think of what people are interested with this sort of format i can ask you what you want this series is about sort of like answering comments and that and showing you things in ksp and stuff like that something that i enjoy doing i also i enjoy doing these new answering comments it's i enjoy doing it so if you enjoy doing it do it i reckon some youtubers should interact more with the with the people who watch their videos though i know a lot do and but a lot more don't and that's the thing people youtube is about interaction it's a social media site that's what it was created for that's where it should still be anyway last comment from dragonborn 9898 mc can you name a kerbal play a kerbal parker yes <laughs> keep making videos thanks anyway this is the end of this video i'm orbiter trust me i'm an engineer I have no idea what we're going to do next. 
So yeah, also, if you like this video, smash that or crank that like button like an engineer. Should be my abnormal outro. Anyway, bye!